do you hear this woman say like <laughs> ah no yes. also we obviously had to react to simon servida again because yes. he's so scrooge yes but i oh you have made it so <laughs> Este video llega a ustedes gracias a nuestros patrones. Especialmente Belki, Emilio, I'm the Nope Only Here, Edgar y Niño. ¡Hola, Minionatics! Bienvenidos a... Minyeo TV Con sus anfitriones favoritos Las hermanas gemelas Sol Y Luna Y hoy es miércoles Miércoles de video Today we're gonna see how Simon Servida produced The number one EP in, in the, the country, country It's been I think Paxible Production Breakdown Suggested by you guys yes. But also we obviously had to react to Simon Servida again Because yes. he's so scrooge Yes, but I... Oh, I, you admit it, so I, <laughs> I admit I like Simon Servida But I think he's married or something I mean, he must be Yeah, it's too good to be true So yeah. anyway <laughs> We should ask him <laughs> Oh my god Soon on our channel we're gonna be reacting to TN Mad Crush, Mad Crush to your, your crush, crush episode 4. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe, subscribe to this channel, channel and activate, activate the bell. bell so you don't miss the notification when we upload that video and, and many others. others. Also, we have a Facebook page, it's called Mini TV Games. Games. We are streaming video games every week and we upload a summary of our gameplay to our second YouTube channel, which is called Mini, Mini Games. Games. So, subscribe if you're into gaming content. Also, shout out to our very fine and certified millionaires who watch this video before anybody else because that's how special they are. They are the coolest, the coolest people in the internet. So, yeah, they if don't you make want to join the gang, please click join, join. next to the subscribe button. button. And, or if you don't find the button, the link is in the, the club is in the description of this video. So let's watch Simon Servita now. The musical genius. If I ever have the opportunity to be an artist, I hope that he produces our songs. <laughs> All of them? I, at least one or two. <laughs> Even one. Let's go! What's up, welcome back to the channel, my name is Simon Servida and today we're going to talk about how I produce the number one EP in the country. The artist I'm producing for is SB19, they're a boy band in the Philippines, and I produce five out of their six songs in the newest EP called Pagsibol. Yes. Pagsibol. Pagsibol. Say it again? Pagsibol. Pagsibol. It's not sibol, it's pagsibol. Like flexible, pagsibol. No. Pagsibol. Also, it's pagsibol, not pagsibol. We've been mm. saying it wrong all, all this time. time. Paxible. Now Paxible. I know it, guys. Thank you. Paxible. Okay. Thank you. I already made videos of how to produce two of the songs on the EP, What and Mamba. So if you guys want to watch that, it's going to be in the description. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I produce the other three songs. All right, let's get into it. Yes, sir. Oh! Woo! After I produced the song for the next song we made was Bazinga. Bazinga, this one is for all the haters. Hard oh my god, they said it's so explicit! It's for all <laughs> the haters. I don't know if you have something in mind for this song since this is the one that you liked, but I'm thinking for this to be hard rap with some EDM or club vibe. Let me hear what you think. Hard rap with some EDM or club he vibe. Was going what do you think? For this one, all Pablo gave me was the hook. <laughs> Bazinga, hey, new gasolina, yeah, I'm faalinga, yeah, you two turn up the heat and I'll burn your till I die. In this one, there's some back and forth between rapping and singing, so there's some sections where it's really melodic and smooth, and then there's other ones where it's heavy and just hard hitting, and the melodies are ignorant and all that stuff. Here's the pre chorus. <laughs> So you have these plucky synths. Future bass snare. Clock ticking. Yeah, I didn't point, notice the all these drop. things, you know? <laughs> this is why I love his breakdown so much. Because yeah. you notice all the little details and all the elements that I put in the production of the This is why I want him to produce songs <laughs> for me, please. It's satisfying, nobody, to watch. it's satisfying to watch. 
Oh my god. We have some like risers. <laughs> Why is it that? Flaps. <laughs> this is the synth I made for the hook. But I'm automating the pitch so that it goes up. Is Pablo's vocals? I just chopped up the first syllable. Buzz, buzz. It's just a ba. So it goes, what? Oh, I it. <laughs> sí, no lo dice. Yo lo entendí. Pablo sent me a little demo, so let's work on that. Bazinga, hey, no gasolina, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I hear something. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? what? <laughs> What's happening? Oh Bruh. no. This is my favorite, my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should make the lead follow that too. That too. Look at you, look at you. Look at you, look at you. I'm thinking we start with chill hi-hats and then do like cool rolls in the second half. Look at you, look at you. Look at you, look at you. Alright, that's definitely something. Verse is also really similar. We have a new lead sound now. Like a pluck from Ciro. And some bass, and then the same drums. Just adding in random stuff. Oh wow, random stuff. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> when he adds random stuff. It always works so well. <laughs> For the second verse, I'm adding a lot more percussion, so there's this descending thing. We change the snare to a clap as well, which is, makes it kind of different. For the bridge, we do a bit of a switch up. The bass is now this weird wobbly bass. Oh my god. Oh, this is Ken's part? Yeah. Kind of like half time. I really like the snare I did. So here's the original. Sounds kind of like a water drop, but I dropped it down an octave. I also did a slide in the pitch. So kind of. Wow. Sounds like a whale. <laughs> then I'll lead on top. Oh yeah, this is one of the failed attempts because when Pablo said that he wanted a club vibe, I was thinking like Uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> the next song I produced was SLMT, short for Salamat. Uh, this one is a Thanksgiving song for the fans, so it needs to be happy. 
This one went pretty smoothly too. And just like Bazinga, Pablo gave me a hook. I think this one is just like a voice note. So the first thing I usually do when I work with acapella is figure out the chord progression. Alrighty, new song time. This is what I thought. <laughs> wow. What I thought that it was Estelle doing the K. Ah, ah see. <laughs> In the song, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, do you hear this woman saying, like, ah? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, it's a synthesizer. <laughs> The marimba. I don't know how to say that in English. After the first half of the chorus, let's have something like a chant where everybody can just vibe and sing along. So I ended up making the vocal chant and recording it. I want it to sound like a big crowd of people, so I'm recording myself multiple times. Oh. And the trick to get it to sound like it's a lot of people is to sing it in different voices. <laughs> Why is he lost? Maybe that's, maybe that's the melody. Oh. Let's record that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> he's extremely cute. Why are you killing oh, yeah. Simon? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, cute, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. Should be enough. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, but also just having every recording not in tune kind of helps make it feel bigger and more of like a crowd. So, so what I'm saying is I sung out of tune on purpose. But if you miss <laughs> it, <laughs> it's just a reference anyway, so they're probably not keeping it. But they kept Imagine it. If they kept it. What if they hear me? What if you guys hear me singing on the song? The verse. Wait, wait. They kept the same one, the sound. Yes, didn't they? It's the same. Oh, yeah. It sounded the same, though. It's not, so it this sounds is actually exactly the same, Simon so, yeah. singing. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing, just a bit more stripped down. For the pre chorus, we kind of change it up a bit. So we do this like more four on the floor drum pattern, change the chord progression as well, and then just some drums, some more effects, and that's pretty much it. Back to the beginning. I think this is the simplest beat by far. It just repeats twice. Near the end, we have like the stripped down section, so the live claps, so they're probably going like, yeah, everybody. Yeah, the whole stadium is going like this. <laughs> oh, I do. Oh, damn, I do more stuff. Same chord progression as before. We add the live bass. Make it a bit jazzy. Uh, hi hat loop. Then we have these sax harmonies. That was not in the song, this sax. Yeah, that's the song. Really simple, but good vibe. Oh my god, my favorite song ever! The last song I worked on was Mana. This one was a really tough one to make. Mana is like a gift passed down. Um, also referred to the ancient monster called the Mana Nangal. So it's like saying, don't sleep on us, we clearly have a gift from above. The cool thing about this one is the demo that Pablo sent me sounds nothing like the finished product. So here's the demo. Very deep! 
be friends. So Pablo sent me the demo from Mana. Let's do stuff. It says bones breaking. Does anybody got bones in here? Hey, hindi ba may waga? Di mo kilala nung nasa lupa pa. Hey, di walang nalaala. Kaya nangamusta, pusta ko sing kwenta. This one is gonna be tough, I'm sure. Hey, hindi ba may waga? Di mo kilala nung nasa lupa pa. Hey, di walang nalaala. Kaya nangamusta, pusta ko sing kwenta. Hey, hindi ba may waga? Di mo kilala nung nasa lupa pa. Hey. I'm gonna just ask him what he thinks because I'm not sure what the hell I'm doing. First thing is the tempo because I know during the hook they wanted that four on the floor groove and 96 is a bit too slow for that, so I moved it up, I think 104. So around this. The next problem was trying to make the song sound scary, which was tough because Pablo's demo didn't really sound scary. The chord progression here is a really happy major chord. So what if we change the chord progression? We can make it sound darker, using more minor chords. Mm -hmm. So that it is scarier, sense. but that's not going to work because the melody was written around the happy chord progression. Ugh. That's not working together. So what we ended up doing was using the scary chord progression, but Pablo had to rewrite the entire melody. Instead of this, we get this. Dun, dun. And then he had to do that for the whole song. So, tough but tough. During the second half, we pick <laughs> up the rhythm a bit, add a bit more drums, some snares. Also add this nice lead melody. For the chorus, we have these spooky reverse sounds. This is what we sell out. Oh, this is interesting. Some tom fills in between. Donde está el pum? Lock it down. Yeah, not much. Pretty simple. Kick drum. This was the old drop. Oh my god, I love that drum. Same sound, but it's lots different. Slower. So this voice note is kind of the bass for the hook. <laughs> that voice note the bass melody. <laughs> and the drums. Also have a second variation where it goes to a higher register. Dance break took a while to make because when I asked him, he said he wanted something grotesque. When I heard the word grotesque, I'm thinking just get a bunch of disgusting sounds and just put it in a <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That's the dance break, the break dance. I know. <laughs> but I don't remember it. No, the last version doesn't have sounds. all these sounds. No. Oh my god. That is not good at all. Okay. I was going for like the gory, disturbing scary, but he wanted like the circus clown scary. I have these pizzicato strings just doing minor chords. They had a melody. Spooky piano. Big spooky laugh. <laughs> Put it all together. Oh, drums. Hey. Oh, no copyright song. Mm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do the copyright song. Which is sound effect. Oh. Uh, back with the copyright song. <laughs> <laughs> Really, really hard. Actually, look at the file. So, Bazinga, V1, V2, so pretty good. 
then we go to Slava, button version, even better, and then we go to Mana, third version. Ah, yeah. It's really harder to make, but this is Hi. my favorite song on the album, personally. Me oh. too! Oh, oh my god, we have same days! I didn't receive a lot of the vocals, so I'm excited to see how they do the rapping and the singing and the harmonies and the melodies. Maybe I should react to it. I just asked Pablo to send me over the masters, and he did. So we are going to listen to them. This is most likely going to get copyright claims, so I'm going to have these reactions in a separate video. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Should we react to Simon reacting to it? No, I want to, I want to watch his I'm reaction. Now. However, oh I don't want to react to his reaction. I just exactly. want to watch it on my own time. Like reacting to a person reacting to another thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'll watch it to my, in my own time. Uh, as usual, always a pleasure to know how the songs were made. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, now watch this, this video. It appears right here, recommended by YouTube's algorithm, especially, especially for, for you. you. So click on it right, right now. now.